Hi everyone, so today is something a little bit different from me. I've got the Victoria Beckham skincare range. This is something I haven't bought before or tried before, but Victoria's just released two new cleansers, this duo, and I couldn't resist. So I've bought these and I've bought the rest of her skincare line and I'm gonna try them all out for the very first time right here now in front of you because this is a very expensive range and I thought it'd be important for you to see my first impressions to see if you're thinking about this, is it worth the money? And if you're new here, hi, my name's Hannah, I'm 47. I'm not a professional, I'm just somebody who loves makeup and everything to do with beauty and obviously skincare, which is what this video will be covering. And I like to share with you my favorite looks, any product news and tips I might have, anything beauty related I think you might be interested in. So if you think that's something you'd enjoy, please do like and subscribe below. It really does help me ever so much. I'm quite new here and it really helps me to get going. And if you just comment below saying even hello, anything at all, it really does help ever so much. Anyway, onto the video. So skincare is something I've never talked about on the channel before and I am not remotely an expert on skincare, but I am somebody who's tried lots of skincare. I do test skincare regularly pretty much t two different products a week. I really do test a lot. So I can tell you whether I think a product works well and how it compares with others. And I do love the expensive skincare in all honesty. My favorite is Tatcha, without a doubt. I love Tatcha. And I do also really enjoy Elemis. And I, I love the skincare that comes from Dior and from Chanel, but my bank balance isn't very really happy about me buying those. And these are quite similar prices. Not quite so bad, but they are more than Tatcha, I think, really. Anyway, I'll tell you the prices and I'll tell you about the products as we go through. So this cleansing duo was just released this week from Victoria Beckham, and this cost £100 for the two, which is probably what drew me in, to be honest, because £50 each is actually quite good when looking at Victoria Beckham prices. And just look at the packaging. I, I just couldn't resist them. I had to give this a go. And to test it with the rest, I didn't want to go in fully and spend a fortune, so I've gone for the travel set of the others. So these are the travel set of her skincare range, and these together are still £158 for these small ones. So this really is a very pricey skincare range. If you wanted to go for the full size of both of these, the price for them together is £302. So this is a big investment. <laughs> so this is the Cell Rejuvenating Serum and I've got the 15ml bottle here. And this is her Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturiser, which comes either in golden colour or just plain with no colour. So I've gone for the golden. So I will try all four on now. You've probably guessed from what I'm wearing, this is evening here. So I'm going to be taking off my makeup and not putting anything on. But what I will do is I'll put this serum and moisturiser on again in the morning and my makeup and I will finish the video off so you can see how this sits on top, how my makeup sits on top of this and what I think of the combination of this with makeup. So I'll be starting here with this daily oil cleanser and this is an olive fruit oil. The packaging is plastic but it's like a really thick heavy sort of luxe plastic and it's got the sort of classic tortoise shell design that Victoria Beckham's makeup has, so very pretty. So this is supposed to remove all traces of makeup and sunscreen, which I have on right now. And I do have quite a strong eyeliner. I can see it all smudged here actually, but anyway, <laughs> it's coming off in a minute. Eyeliner, mascara, full face of makeup, still got lipstick on, so it'll be interesting to see how it tackles that. Victoria worked with a globally recognized esthetician on this um, cleanser duo and her name is Melanie Grant if you want to look her up I can't tell you any more about it but that's what it says on the website so let's have a look at what this looks like I don't know if it's going to spr oh wait a minute I need to switch the lock off I don't know if it's going to pour down my hand now with it being an oil yeah there we go so it's a clear oil want to waste any of this when you think of the price. I think I need a little bit more than that. So put half a pump more into my hands. And I know with this sort of cleanser, usually it's best to go straight on to dry skin. So the first thing I'll do is hit my eyes and then my lips. Now you're going to get to see what's going on here before I do. <laughs> so I'm going on my mascara and I can feel my mascara moving away already, very softly. It's scent free really, but you can sort of smell oil 
I'm op oh, there we go. I can see now. <laughs> I'm opening my eyes to see if it's stinging at all because I've gone right into my eyes with this. And the answer to that is no, it's not stinging. And you can see that I, I was wearing a, a pen liner. It's nearly gone. I wouldn't say it's vanished. It's nearly gone. My mascara's gone. And I've I had a very strong eyebrow gel on. That's definitely gone because they feel soft again. My lipstick has disappeared. Well, this works very well so far. It feels very nice on my skin. And I can just get it right into my eyeballs without feeling a thing. So that's, that's a good start. It, it does feel very nice. So I've got a bowl of warm water here in front of me. I'm going to go in now with a soft microfiber flannel, which is what I always use. And remove that. Well, I think that's just done a fantastic job. But how effortless was that? When you're seeing this in real time, I'm not editing out at all. I'm just showing you exactly what this is doing. And it's done. My face looks completely clear. My eyes are, yep, it's all gone. And I had quite a lot of makeup on my eyes. Now I've used quite a lot of these makeup removers. And I can't say there aren't, aren't any out there that doesn't do the same because I've got one I think it's the Haru Haru Wonder one, which I, I love, and that's a lot cheaper. And that can remove it in a similar way. But I must say, I think this might be just a tad quicker. That was really good, very successful. <laughs> now I always double cleanse because the first cleanse just removes, removes all of the impurities. So your makeup, your sunscreen, any pollution from the day that your skin's absorbed. But what it hasn't done now, it hasn't been cleansed from fresh which is what you need to do that's why you go in for the double cleanse and that's when the goodness from the second cleanse really gets into the skin so now the double cleanse happens with this cleanser which is different this one's um, got a green tone to the bottom so that's the only way it looks different it's got the same tortoiseshell lid this is a lactic acid gel cleanser described as a gold standard exfoliant which should remove all of my dead skin cells and leave me with a fresh hydrated face so we shall see do you know what my skin does feel lovely after removing it it really does i like that a lot the first one <laughs> right so let's see what this is like unlock it first i do enjoy a gel cleanser i find them very nice oh gosh that is so runny for a gel cleanser wow i wasn't expecting that mm. very runny okay it does feel like gel now on my fingers but really light so i'm used to gel cleansers being quite thick i was expecting something quite solid to come out there so i'm putting another half a pump into my hands and now i start doing the face it doesn't really have any sort of scent it doesn't have a pleasant scent anyway it just doesn't really have much of a scent it's sort of a slightly clinical scent i'd say Personally, I'd probably like a little bit of a scent, but I know a lot of people struggle with scent, so maybe it's better from the point of view of it working for everybody. The big test, I've got very sensitive eyes, so I don't want to put it into my eyes, but I'm going under my eyes just to see if it makes my eyes smart at all. And the answer so far is no. So I'm going back in with my microfiber cloth on the other side. I'm just going to wash I'm not going to completely remove it. I just want to moisten the skin a bit more to really rub it in and allow my skin to absorb the goodness and to have the exfoliation effect. I can tell straight away that that's exfoliated because there's no stinging or anything, but I, I don't know if it's happened to you, but when you run your cloth down, you can hear almost like a squeak, which is literally a squeaky clean face. Feels very fresh. I just I think I would have preferred a bit of a thicker consistency to it. I didn't like the way it was so runny. But if it does the job, it does the job. But it is nice to have a pleasant experience, isn't it? So I might have liked that to have a slightly more nice feel as you're rubbing it onto your skin. 
Anyway, maybe that's me being fussy. I'm just going to pat my face dry. So there's my face dry and clean after double cleansing. It does feel exceptionally clean and very smooth. It does feel very, very thirsty now. So I need to get some serum onto it. So here is the 15ml bottle of serum and this is formulated by someone called Augustinus Bader and apparently it has something called a TFC8 formula in it. It's supposed to have firming, smoothing and lifting properties and it's supposed to target signs of ageing. There's a little note that comes with it which says to remove this cap and then to apply it says to squeeze this nozzle either directly onto your fingers or directly onto your face. I'm going to try with directly onto my face. Yeah, it's not coming out too fast. So you can see there it's a very clear serum. See, my skin at the moment is exceptionally thirsty. It's not really happy with um, tretinoin use so my cheek has absorbed all of that already. I don't know if that's something that everyone's going to find and you're going to get through this product in a flash but my, my skin is very dry from using the exfoliant which isn't a bad thing and that does always happen to me especially with a good exfoliant that's really removed everything but I do need quite a lot of skin care after exfoliating to get that moisture back in I need a bit more again Again, this is odourless. It's strange really, all of them seem to have the same sort of smell, which is almost like a clinical smell. A very mild clinical smell, I'd say. It's hard to put my finger on it really, but very mild and pretty much scent free. I do think this nozzle thing is a bit annoying. I'd rather have a pump. Anyway, I'm going in with a bit more to finish my chin off. So what I would say is my skin needs an awful lot of this. But that's happening to me with every single product I'm using, so it's not really to do with the product. It is to do with time of year and tretinoin use. My skin's just very, very, very thirsty. So there's my skin after using the serum. It's got a lovely glow, actually. Tiny bit tacky, which I probably expect, but not a lot. Just a little bit. So next I'll be going in with a moisturiser, which also has the same formula. I'm just looking on the website to get more information about Augustinus Bader and it says that he's a scientist, one of the world's leading stem cell and biomedical scientists. It says he spent more than 30 years developing a breakthrough medical treatment that activates the body's own healing process, mimicking the regenerative capabilities of stem cells and from there he adapted it to create a truly unique skincare advancement called TFC8 which is the trigger factor complex. So that is what is going into this serum and this moisturizer and that really does explain the cost. It says that TFC8 nourishes and protects the skin by supporting the skin's innate potential for renewal. It's composed of natural amino acids, high grade vitamins and th synthesized molecules naturally found in the skin. It adapts to your skin's unique concerns and it guides key nutrients to the skin. It creates an optimal environment for cellular repair and renewal. It nourishes and protects the skin and builds a stronger barrier function. As a result, the skin looks and feels healthier, firmer, stronger and more even over time. After one single use, your skin is more hydrated, lifted and firmer. I'll see when I get that moisturiser on. And after six weeks, your radiance should be up, your redness should be reduced and your skin should be visibly transformed. Now I've been having quite a lot of trouble lately with tretinoin because I've increased it and it's made my foundation not sit very well and because of that and because of the time of year I've decided to give myself a full month off tretinoin. So this is going to be a perfect time for me to test this. So I know I do test other skincare so I can't say I use this exclusively but I will predominantly use this as my skincare over the next few weeks. So I will do an update for you and I will pin that to the very top of this in the comments. So if you're watching this six weeks later, you'll be able to see what my results are. And I probably will include it in a video if I think it's, it's really impressive. But at the moment, I like it, but whether it can do any of the things it promises, 
only time will tell. So moving on to the moisturiser, this can be used as a primer, so tomorrow that's what I'll use it for and I will show you how my makeup is sitting on top of it tomorrow. And I have seen people saying they can use this on its own just with concealer, well I'd be amazed if I could do that because I just feel like I need more coverage for, because of some of the, the unevenness in my skin tone and some of the little marks that I like to cover. Anyway. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. So this is golden. Here's the bottle for this. This one isn't the sort of thin plastic. It's much more like the lipsticks if you know the Victoria Beckham line. And again, it's got the lovely tortoise shell packaging. It comes in 15ml, 30ml and 50ml. And it's £60 just for the 15ml. And if you go for the 50ml, it's £150. So this really is gold on the skin. And it comes in the clear original or this one which is golden. You'd be interested to see just how much colour I get with this. It really is golden, isn't it? Looks like it might be a bit illuminating, doesn't it? And you can see there it's not terribly runny, but it's also not thick, it's sort of in the middle. If I just show you on the back of my hand. It is quite thick, it feels like a foundation. Okay, let's put it on my skin and see how it how it goes in. Quite curious about this one now. I should have done one side first so you could have seen the difference. It's definitely giving me a little bit of colour isn't it? If you look at that line there, look at the difference. Let's see how this looks rubbed in. I wonder if this is going to be too much colour for me. I'm going to go to bed with a suntan. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like my skin is dry up here so I need a bit more. I'd say I need at least a pump and a half of this. I can tell straight away that this is not something I'd be wearing on its own with concealer. There's no way. I suppose one problem with me getting golden now wearing it at night is I might be marking all my bedding. I'll put an update for you and let you know. Well, I can tell you tomorrow actually because tomorrow I'm going to be putting my foundation on top of it. So. I can let you know how my night went <laughs> and if I had to change my pillowcase the next morning. The colour is starting to even out actually, it's not looking, I was, I was thinking I was going to look really tanned with it then, which would make it a bit of a problem putting foundation on because of the colour. If you have a look at my neck, which I guess you can see the difference, it's starting to sort of blend into my skin. So it's given a slight golden glow, but the colour is evening out now. It's dried down a lot actually, again my skin has absorbed it a lot. It does have a slightly tacky feel, but just like moisturiser does, if you're putting on an evening moisturiser, I would expect a bit of tackiness. And I wonder with foundation if it's going to have that bit of grip, which might make it quite useful. And again this one is pretty odourless, they all seem to be exactly the same. So. So fast forward one whole week and I have now been wearing this every single day. I switched my routine up from using the moisturising primer until the morning. So what I've been doing is I use the double cleanse in the evening, so starting with the oil one and then moving on to the gel one. Then I put on the serum and then I use one of my own moisturisers. But one thing I found is with the serum I can actually avoid using any eye serum at all because I can basically use it all over my face and for my eyes and I've been so pleased with the way my skin is looking in the morning. So in the morning to cleanse my face I just use the oil cleanser and then straight to the serum again under the eyes and across the whole of my face. I give that probably about 10 minutes to dry down and then I put my SPF on and then I get on with things around the house and then it's time to put my makeup on. And that's when I'm putting on this priming moisturiser. And I give this probably about five minutes until I put my makeup on. And I can tell you now, I'm having the best foundation application I've had in ages. I'm so pleased. I've been having so many problems here and I'm starting to write off some foundations thinking they will just permanently cake on me. Foundations that people are really raving about, like the new Louboutin for instance, which I just thought I've got no chance, this is caking up on me terribly, and it's just, it's not. I think the, the combination of using this exfoliating cleanser, which is gentle but so effective, and then using this as my priming moisturiser in the day, it's, it's just making my makeup sit perfectly. 
In fact, I've rushed out and bought another of these priming moisturisers straight away. So, wow, this is expensive, but so far, wow, is it worth it. I love this. I absolutely love it. So obviously the, the priming moisturiser isn't really intended for evening use. So in my first try on video, I was just really just trying all the products out. So you can, I suppose, use the clear one in the evening or another moisturiser of your choice. I suppose it's up to you. I don't know if there'll be another moisturiser launched for sort of evening. Um, hopefully there will be. That would be a nice, nice finish to the kit really. But at the moment, this is working out really, really well for me and I'm so happy. I love the way that my skin feels, how smooth it is, and it's just, it's really turned my makeup application into a joy. I'll quickly forward now and do all my makeup and I'll just show you how my makeup and foundation is sitting. And I will actually use the Louboutin, something I haven't actually done a review on for you yet because of all the problems I've had with it. But I will just show you how well it settles because trust me, every time I tried it, and I tried it a lot, it caked up terribly here and here. So much so I was just wiping it off and giving up. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute to show you that. So I now have a full face of makeup on and I just want to show you more than anything this area here, my problem area with everything I've been trying and there is just zero caking and on my chin and on my whole face, no caking. My makeup has never sat so perfectly. So this Victoria skincare line in total is really, really good for my skin and I'm delighted with it. This is an investment I've made that I think is absolutely worth it. The problem I'm gonna have now is I've got quite a lot of skincare and I just don't want to reach out and use any of them. I want to exclusively use Victoria Beckham. It might cost me a little bit too much, but a little goes a long way with these, so I'm hoping I can get quite a lot out of them. And I think next time I will have to go for the largest size, but absolutely beautiful. Really, really, really happy with this skincare range. So if you're looking for something very luxurious, but extremely effective, and you're looking for perfect makeup days, I definitely recommend trying this Victoria Beckham range. I would recommend going for the travel sizes because everyone's different and everyone's skin responds differently. So I don't want to say that you're going to have my results, obviously. But for me, I'm 47, so I'm mature skinned and I have got dry skin issues. It is winter and this skincare range has just got rid of all of the problems I've had. I'm over the moon with it. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful to all of you and if you've enjoyed this content, I would love it so much if you liked and subscribed below and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And that's it from me today and I hope to see all of you again for my next video. Take care everybody. Bye. <music>